it's me. Today I have some juicy, relatable TikTok. She's basically immune to it now. One day I'll so I tried the princess thing on my dad. Who's the prettiest princess? Bring me my charger. You're supposed to say me, okay? <laughs> this is how foreign dads be. Hmm. I think Elsa, cause last time I checked, we're not that deep. When you turn off the light in the kitchen after getting a snack at 3 a.m. Whoa! So was there two of y'all or, or did the sleep paralysis demon decide to get a snack too? I don't know what it is about having a two story and just having stairs because if you have a one story, it seems way less scary at night. But if you have a two story and stairs, it's terrifying to go downstairs at night. Like, so demons only spawn when there's stairs? Like, I, I don't get how it works. Nighttime logic. High school. How kids respond to no. <laughs> Middle school. <laughs> Grade school. Oh no! Kindergarten. <laughs> Toddler. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Pretty spot on, my dude. Nothing like when they go face first in the Walmart parking lot. Anger level 100. When your mom randomly enters your room at night and you only have a second to think of a sleeping position. Oh yeah! I know you're awake. Mom, you wake me up. Stop. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I didn't do this. I used to stay up way later than my parents, so they never checked up on me. And if they did, it was probably when I was a kid, and I do not remember. Driving. See, I try to avoid the cameras at the grocery store. I'm like, who this crackhead? I don't know her. Why I look like that? Just look down and scan your ground beef as a banana. Just kidding, you can't do that anymore. Cause it says it. Scan your ground beef. And it's like, please place your bananas in the bagging area. I'm only gonna rest my eyes. I'm only gonna rest my eyes. No going to sleep. Hmm. No, 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 it does not work. It does not work. What time is it? What day is it? What year is it? This is the rules. CEO of resting your eyes but actually napping for four hours here. If you lay in your bed with the covers on, there's no resting your eyes. You're going to nap. If you want to rest your eyes, lay somewhere slightly uncomfortable. Like lay on the floor. No blankie, no nothing. Lay on the couch. But even then, there's still a slight puzzle. Oh no! You know, I thought it was just me. There's something wrong with me. Maybe it's the dead skin buildup because I'm always itchy for no reason. It just feels like something's always crawling on me. You know what? Now that I think about that ant hill that I stomped on as a child, this is all starting to make sense. <laughs> Y'all bring your laptop in the bathroom? That's illegal! I mean, I will sit with my phone on the floor next to my bathtub for like an hour before I have to shower or I'll be sitting on the toilet. Like, I don't know, do you guys do that? I don't open a can with long nails. Oh no, those are way too long. That's how I do it. Mine aren't even that long. They're especially short right now. But like I use I use the side of my finger to just like boom. Because if you try to crack open a cold one, the can ain't the only thing you're gonna be cracking open. We would love to see it though. Every mom ever. Dinner's ready. And then zoom! The only time you come downstairs early. Yeah, we got five more minutes. It's still cooking. You know, I too use this tactic. When you're always late for dinner, I'm gonna be like, dinner's ready. A couple minutes before it's actually done. So by the time it is done, y'all would have been present and seated at the table. Hacks. Childhood with siblings be like, okay, no, I get more. I'm player one. I'm the boss. I get first dibs on the Costco rotisserie. I just stepped on a Lego. My entire body is in searing pain. I can hardly breathe and I think I might go into cardiac arrest. I feel like a fish out of water. Breathing is very hard right now. Why would someone put a Lego on the floor? That doesn't make any sense. I was innocently trying to walk down the stairs to ask my mother if we were having lasagna or ravioli. You know, happens to the best of us. That's like if you've taken a Lego to the foot. You know, that's what they call it. The sole of your foot. And when you step on the Lego, it feels like your soul has left your body. Race to the coffee table. If you don't make it in five seconds, you die. One, two, three, four. Oh, girl. No, I made it. No, you, just you didn't make it fast. I made okay, it. Okay, maybe. 
Yeah, okay. maybe. All right. Oh, man. When I was a kid, I thought this was just me. Like, I would always have to be like, touch this before it's too late. When I was walking home from school, I could only step on the crack of every other sidewalk. I would have to take like an even amount of steps on each sidewalk. That's like a very mild form of OCD. But then growing up, it's like, oh, everybody had that. But nobody used to talk about it. It's like, imagine having all these weird problems, but having them bottled up inside your head and nobody knows except you. And you're so terrified of even talking about it because it's like, people are going to think you're mental. But you know, good thing TikTok exists. I have always thought about doing this or I've wanted to do. I didn't know it was possible until now that I saw this dude. Just do a full 360 around the swing. Whoa. Where can I ride one of these? This looks so fun. Imagine just like boom. I'd imagine you have to like like pump up so much force to like be able to do a flip all. So satisfying. You suck seeing people living out your dreams. Weird and relatable things we've all done before, part six. Whenever someone is typing in their password in front of you, you awkwardly look away so it doesn't look like you're trying to see their password. I do that, but I feel like my friends don't do that. I'm like trying to check out and I'm like typing my pin and then that's like the perfect opportunity for my friend to be like, what are you doing? Or like peering over my shoulder. I don't know if I actually do that, but it feels like it. You always get paranoid walking near your bed just in case the monster from under grabs your leg. Oh. From a very young age, I would always check under my bed. So I'm like, yeah, there's nothing there. So that never really was an issue. You've stabbed your eraser with your pencil because it feels weirdly satisfying. Mm -hmm. You've made giant marker lightsabers, but they always break off like that. Mm -hmm. We used to always run our fingers across the walls in the hallways at school. Mm-hmm. And then I realized how disgusting that is. No, after COVID, I don't know how I'm gonna go back to like normal life and like being able to touch random things out in the world without constantly sanitizing. So pick me, choose me, love me. <laughs> I do low key feel bad for my shirts that I take the time to hang up and never wear. And yet I keep buying new clothes when I have so many clothes that I have never yet worn. So gonna teach me how to drive. Can I go? I can go. Hi, I'm going. Hey, come back. Hey, stop. Huh? Go when I tell you to go. This is probably my least favorite thing about going to a water park. Like, what the heck is so cool for? But you work at a water park, and then you're convinced that the dude who works there has a crush on you because he touched your back to push you down the slide. You gotta be so aggressive for no reason. Son can't hurt you if I do it first. Okay, these are girl struggles. Oh, the, every every time. Every time I put on a dang pair of tights. Why do they rip so easily? Like, I ruined almost every single pair of tights I've ever bought as I'm putting them on. I think probably because I have nails. Maybe if you don't have such long nails, it doesn't like instantly rip them as you're putting it on. Oh, but it doesn't satisfy the itch. It's like it itches somewhere inside your hand. See, this is why I love TikTok because all these things that happen to me that are like absolutely insane if you try to explain it to something, there will most likely be a TikTok for it. It's like sometimes something something in here, in your hand itches, but it's like you itch no matter how much you itch it, you, you can't get it. Like a mosquito bit my soul. Things parents don't understand. Number one, okay, if I'm playing the game online, I cannot pause the game because there's other people playing live with me. So how am I going to pause the game if they're playing too? Simple. You stop time. Number two, you ever think, you know what? I'm going to be a responsible child and I'm going to do the dishes. And on your way to do the dishes, your mom says, hey, yo, make sure you do them dishes. See, now I don't want to do them anymore because when I do it by myself, I'm thinking, you know what? This could be calming for me. But when you ask me to do it, now I'm required to do it. Is that like a boy thing? I'm dead serious right now. I was never like that. Like, if I'm about to do the dishes, and my mom tells me go do the dishes, I'm like, okay, I'm about to do the dishes. I'm not like, wow, I don't want to do the dishes anymore. But, like, I know people, and they're all guys, and they get, like, annoyed or, like, offended if I, like, remind them to do something. But if I don't remind them, then they'll forget to do it. But if I remind them, they'll get annoyed that I reminded them. And so, I they keep crying until somebody gives them attention. <laughs> you know, 20 years later, ask them. It's me, and today we're gonna be watching some relatable TikToks. How normal people turn on their PS4. Okay, that's, that's how everyone does it, right? How psychopaths turn on their PS4. <laughs> Ain't nobody pressed the button! I've had a 
PS4 for so long and I still don't know which is the power, which is the eject. Every time I press the button, it's like I have a 50-50 chance. And I usually end up just ejecting it instead of starting it. All right, we're gonna need some shampoo, conditioner. Girl, shower we're products. gonna need the leg hair shampoo, um, the eyebrow shampoo, Very the important. feet cleanser, yes. we need some deodorant. We're gonna need some body. All right, sweet. We got the all-in-one shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, acne cream, hemorrhoid cream, toothpaste, car wax, glue, and ketchup. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna explain why. Because when we go to the store, there are so many pretty packaging for girl products. And it's like, we see the packaging. It looks nice. We gonna buy it. It smell good. We gonna buy it. The bottle is nice. We're gonna buy it. Guys, it's like, all in one is all you need. I love how guys can use the same bar of soap for their butt cheeks and their face and still have flawless skin. Meanwhile, me and my 12-step skincare system struggling to clear my pores. So, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm just on my way to my friend's house. Hey, where are you headed? Hey, what's up? You're in the Uber, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome, I'm tracking you right now. Just wanted to remind you, your gun is fully loaded. Right <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I feel bad for Ubers who, like, they aren't even sus or anything. And then everyone's like, oh, where's that TikTok I saved? That are like, save this TikTok if you ever feel unsafe in an Uber. Hey, that made me feel safe. Mom, sh it was the shampoo inside the head cavity for me. And it's like, you know it's about to go down when she like, close your eyes. <laughs> me, cookie with oil. <laughs> Mom. Mm, yes. The temperature is immaculate. Perfect. Let me try it. Oh, delicious. Here's my theory. Mothers have been splashed by oil so many times throughout the years that they are now immune to it. I used to be like that. I'm, I'm getting there now. Also, life hack. If you're frying, get your hands and arms wet. And then when the oil like, you don't feel it. Me canceling my Netflix seven day free trial before getting charged and We're making a down. new account with Got a him. different email. This guy's good. <laughs> oh man, when Netflix first came out, I used to do this literally every six days. Before y'all charge me, new account, new email, new identity, new Netflix account, who this? Hacks. Abunda la caca. Abunda la caca will never not be funny. <laughs> Hey, kids under six eat free. Oh, my son is five. No, I'm not. Shh. Are you really five? Yeah, I mean, yeah. When were you born? Five years ago, which was one, two, 20, 30, 15. I don't know what it is, but something seems off. What are you talking about? Good thing all kids eat free. Good, because we were lying. I knew it. You fell for you it. Lied. No. So did you. You thought you could trick me? Ha <laughs> ha. This is gotta be my parents' worst nightmare when I was a kid. You know, there are people talking about how growing up they would go to Red Lobster, Olive Garden, once a year special occasion, birthday dinner. No, my once a year restaurant would be the buffet. Old Country Buffet, Golden Corral, that was our fancy meal. My sibling, my dad always had to lie about their age. Before we went to the restaurant, we were rehearsing the car. Okay, you're five, you're six, you're four. My brother was 12 and he was like, you're six. You're gonna eat free, okay? And then he would stand at the cashier, legit arguing with them until he finally got his way. <laughs> Me in the school cafeteria. That couple hmm. at school. That's nasty. Um, I'm gonna go throw up. <laughs> Y'all can have the hallways. Y'all can have a little corner. Not the cafeteria when I'm trying to eat my meal. What my deaf brother doesn't know about me. Uh, uh, uh. You know, being 21 years old and having this kind of platform, it's humbling, you know, and, and especially having all the success, it's amazing, and I can't thank the fans enough. Bro, if I were to talk to myself in the bathroom with other people in the house, or if I make it any sound, I'm turning on the water, I'm turning on the shower, I'm turning on the sink, and I'm flushing the toilet at the same time. Friend, do you want pizza or Chinese? I will have pizza, please. Mom, we have to order some pizza as well. She doesn't want Chinese. Dude, it's fine. No, it's fine. Me stressed AF because her mom was so sweet and ordered it anyway. Oh, that's nice though. Whenever the rare occasion I would go to a friend's house, I'm not hungry. I don't want anything to eat. I don't want to be a burden in any way, shape, form, or anything. I am a guest here. I'm gonna eat all this air because it's free. 
You're either the sibling who goes and stands in your sibling's room, or you're the sibling with the room. I'm the sibling with the room. My sister just comes in here and stands. Like, which one are you? You know, some of us are nosy. I was a nosy one. I was a sibling that stands. Only my room was upstairs, everybody else's was downstairs. So I would just bust into everyone's room. What are you doing? You trying to play some games? I was always in everyone's business. I still am. Which one are you? Comment below. Samsung battery. Okay, Samsung, you know, they got some good battery. Huawei. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how fast a battery can possibly drain until you've owned a MacBook. Brand new. $2,000 laptop. Barely got a two hour worth of battery. You know, conspiracy theory, but also I think it's pretty true. Apple, obviously they have the capability to have amazing battery life, amazing quality camera, just overall a great phone. But they have a new one every single year. So it's like they're only going to give you a little bit at a time. So every year iPhone users be like, wow, an increase in quality, an increase in battery power, increased capabilities. When Android phones done had that five years ago. That is me though. It drives me insane when I see people like snatch like five paper towels to wipe some water off the counter like bruh it's gonna evaporate. It's gonna be gone. Unnecessary. I am very stingy when it comes to paper towels. When you're watching a movie with your daughter and an 18 plus scene comes on. Oh this is the most awkward thing for me and my mom. And I'm just like mm. And she like gets up, do you want anything to eat? Like she already knows it's gonna happen before it happens and she already like has a battle plan. Plan B prepared. Well we used to watch movies when I was a kid and anything, even kissing. My brother would take a pillow and go cover the TV with it until it was over. It just makes it so awkward. It doesn't make it any better that every single movie or show I decide to watch with my mom. They be going at it, look, look, 3,000 every other scene. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? I don't taste anything. Wow, this is incredible. The flavor is immaculate. Never tasted anything like this before. Literally, why? Is it because it's cold? My dog's treating ice, literally frozen water, like a five-star meal. They fight over it. They fight over ice cubes. Maybe it's like, wow, cold. The texture is immaculate. 13 year olds now. Yeah, 13. Welcome. To the cooking show. <laughs> we will be making a souffle. We was just built different back then. We didn't have YouTube makeup tutorials. We didn't have Kylie Jenner. So chicken. We didn't have Instagram. We had MySpace and Photo Bucket. Here in art class. I can't draw. This is the best I can do, ma'am. The when you're in math class, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put some real effort into it. You know, I got all the time in the world to sit here and draw. I don't know about this one. Art was like one of my favorite classes. But also when I'm not paying attention, I like to draw the most detailed pictures imaginable. Also, I draw when I'm taking notes because it helps me concentrate. Not because I'm not paying attention. Okay, maybe a little bit. Things we all did as kids. Slide the remote lid on and off. Mmm, so satisfying to feel it click. Connecting magnets. Yeah, I still do that. I don't think I ever spun a coin for fun. Slide everywhere, I still do this. Ain't nothing hit like, mmm, socks on some wood floor. That's a good time. Blow bubbles in glass. Still do it. Draw on a steam mirror. Still do it. Watch the light in the remote. I don't think I ever did that. Play these games. I've only seen that game on TikTok. I actually didn't grow up playing Mario. When I was a kid, I only wanted to play adult games. So anything like Mario and Sonic, I'm like, this is for babies. I want a shooting game. I didn't grow up with an iPad though. You know, I was doing this until I grew up and I'm like, wait, what's the point of doing this? Because if you wait till point one second, you have to press like the end button so the clock comes back on. So. I, I, I just stopped doing that. My friend actually working in math class. Me flipping through the textbook to find the weirdest person. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> this you? Yeah, no, I was the person that would draw all the little hidden peepees. That was me. Things only shy people understand. Okay, let's see. Can you repeat that louder? That's me like 30 times. Actually, after the second time, I ask someone to repeat themselves. I just nod and say, okay. And they're like, wait, what? So you would like to donate your body to science? I'm like, wait, no. Why I heard 
it the third time. Sometimes my ears, they just, they just don't work. We need subtitles in real life. Coming off awkward or rude because you don't want to speak. This was me my whole life. Because I was just so painfully shy. I never wanted to talk to anybody. Even though I really wanted to like go out and make friends. But I wanted people to like come up to me and start a conversation with me. Because I was too shy to talk to them. Even though I wanted to, but I couldn't, you know. Covering your smile, laugh in public. I don't think that's a shy thing. I cover my mouth when I laugh because it's ugly. When you're out grocery shopping with your mom, and mom puts the one you picked in the bag. Oh, this made me feel so good when I was a kid. I'd be like, inspecting the fruit, looking at the veggies. Yes, it's perfect, take it. My mom like, oh yes, it's a good one. In the bag it goes, we're buying it. Oh. The younger sibling, walk into the front seat. Oh, no you don't. Don't you dare. My siblings knew better. They knew it was my seat. Reserved for me, the oldest. Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna be watching some relatable TikToks. Grab a drinky drink. And let's cabbage. Don't you wish you could just... <laughs> hey yo, I can't read all of this. My eyes and brain don't wanna work together. If only there was a way to just like, take the information in the book and just like inject it. Can y'all scientists start working on this ASAP? Me opening my window to let some fresh air in. Wind. <laughs> it always be closing the door. It like slams it shut. Like who was that? Oh no, this house is haunted. Oh, it was just the wind. POV, the little people having a party in your pillow have their bass too loud. This is part of the reason why I need some kind of white noise in my room to make me fall asleep because when it's like dead silent, I start hearing things. Like the little people going crazy in my pillow, the neighbor's leaky faucet dripping across the street. I physically cannot fall asleep unless I have the noise of a fan. And where are my fan sleepers at? POV, your dad is helping you with your homework. Two's right here. Right that, right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so stressful. I swear, your dad trying to teach you how to do anything, you're going to cry. This was me when my dad was teaching me how to drive. He would literally scream everything. I'd be crying, wiping the snot off my sleeve at the red light. I'm not allowed to breathe unless that car passes the fifth house. <laughs> no. These are the real intrusive thoughts. Growing up, I thought it was just me. But I will tell you now, you can grow out of this because this was me for everything. It's like when I was walking home from school, I can't step on the cracks in the sidewalk. I can't breathe until I finish number seven. But then one day you realize like, this is stupid. I don't have to do this. And then it's just gone. At least that's what happened for me. POV, you're cooking an egg. <laughs> Literally me in the kitchen touching anything. <laughs> Rinsing my paws off. Dear God, may this food be good for us and nourish our bodies. The food. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you expect some leftover McDonald's to nourish your body? No, it's gonna do the exact opposite. I go eat an apple or something. My yeah, long distance man, yeah. friend telling me tea about people yeah. I've just seen I pictures of. She was a, she was a slut. <laughs> it's like you never met any of these people. You've only heard things about them. And then sometimes you'll hear so many different stories about one person that you've never met. And then when you meet them for the first time, you're like, oh. I actually know every single detail about your life. Since you were a child. But I, I gotta shake your hand and pretend like I'm meeting you for the first time. Like I don't know nothing about you. You know, I'm a little creep. I like to stalk people on Instagram. I wanna know everything about you before I meet you. The firstborn girl during Christmas making sure mom gets the presents under the tree. Oh baby, that's me. I'm the one. Make all the other siblings' gifts look pathetic. I take Christmas and gift giving in general very seriously. Nobody ever gets me a good gift. I'm just a picky person in general. But I ain't gonna let that stop me. I will do months of research if I have to. Follow everybody around the store, see what they touch, pick up, be like, oh, I like this, it's cute. I open up my notepad, write it down. Six months Months later, they getting it under the tree for Christmas. I'm very attentive. When I see my sister headed for the bathroom with her stuff after I decided two and a half hours ago that I'm about to shower. When you say you're gonna shower, you don't just grab a towel in your clothes and go in the shower. No, 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 no. You decide you're gonna shower. Sit on your bed for at least 45 minutes, dilly-dallying, watching tiki talkies on your phone. Maybe get a little snacky snack. Go to the toilet because you overhydrated yourself and now you're sitting for another 30 minutes watching some more tiki talkies. But oh! 
Then you see your sibling going to the closet to get a towel. Oh, no, 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 no. I decided that I wanted to shower first. My turn. I'm showering. I called it like two and a half hours ago. You gonna have to wait. And then y'all run out of hot water. POV, your mom asks for a pen when she's on the phone. Suddenly, there are no pens in the entire household. Is she in a rush? Is she screaming at you? Is she giving you that look like you opening up all the drawers looking for a writing utensil? Mother, you have notepad on your phone. Nobody needs a pen on the phone anymore. Me, venting to my mom, telling her not to say anything. Next morning on WhatsApp. <laughs> You know, when you think you can trust your mom? And then she tells the whole other family group chat. You know, y'all got your family group chat, and they got their family group chat. Where they be using their kids for clout. Can't trust nobody these days. Me, about to send my friend something funny, and then realizing I didn't reply to their rant. <sighs> hey, this happened way too often. Sometimes people will send me a very deep paragraph, how bad their emotional state is right now. And then I'll read it, and then I'll be like, well, I don't know how to reply to this right now, so I don't. So maybe I'll think of a reply later, and then I end up not replying. But oh, three hours later, I find a funny TikTok that they might like, and I go to send it, and I'm like, oh, I never replied to this. And you know what I do? I send that funny TikTok, ignoring everything else they said, because I still don't got a reply. Me, after my one and only oh, class for the day. Day drain. <laughs> oh, such a difficult life. Oh, this was me my last semester of college. I had one in-person class three times a week. I, well, I think I deserve a nap after all that agony I endured for the day. When the sore throat you wake oh, no. up with doesn't go away after the it, first it, sip it of water. Be. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the absolute worst. As somebody who gets sick very, very easily, I can literally like go to the mall or a crowded place. I'm gonna wake up sick the next day. And this is how it starts. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. But then sometimes you like wake up and then just drink some water, just, just hack out some phlegm over the sink, and then 20 minutes later you're good to go. It's great. When you're trying to turn quickly while saying thank you to the person giving you way, <laughs> this is very specific and also very stressful. Oh, thank you for stopping and letting me turn in the middle of the road, and then I'm just like, I have to wave and do the thank you. I hate to be a burden. When you're watching a piece of media that changed your life and the friend you finally made watch it predicts it perfectly within the first eight minutes. Absolutely not. This has happened to me a couple times. Like I sit down with a movie or an anime that is like amazing, mind blowing. And then my friend guessed what happened perfectly. First episode. And I had to sit there like, yeah, okay, we'll see. POV, you spent $35 for a durian fruit because you thought it was $6 per pound and you were too embarrassed to say anything at the counter. One time, I spent $21 on a bag of grapes. It wasn't $7 for a bag, it was $7 a pound and it was a three pound bag of grapes. That's expensive. That's a, that's a lot. With hard, crispy grapes. Very much worth it. I do take my grapes very seriously. I would say it's worth it. Nine year old me walking past the rice aisle at the Asian market. It's like you have the urge to just punch. Me versus the sack of rice. Winning. I don't know. Check out these guns. These bony fists. Mmm. Come below. No. Oh. <laughs> Why siblings gotta be so annoying for no reason? It's six in the morning. What are you doing? <laughs> Blowing bubbles in your chalky milk. Ah, finally some peace and quiet. When you're cleaning your room and a piece of dust starts walking. <laughs> You know, we really just be living the same life. All these weird specific things happen to everybody, which is wild to me because I'm like, oh, it's just me. Why I got dust that moved by itself? What is the scientific phenomena behind this? Wondering why it's taking them so long to reply. I forgot to reply. You know when you type out a reply, and sometimes it doesn't send and you just go back to the message and be like, oh, I never sent this. Oopsie. Watching my lips shrink throughout the day. Is this a thing? Because I've noticed this. You wake up with some big, huge, juicy lips, and by the end of the day, they like just some shriveled little slivers of mouth. It's gotta do something with moisture or the amount of water you drink. I don't know if they get smaller, maybe just like exfoliate them with a warm towel. It works, but your lips are the biggest when you wake up. I don't know, it's weird. POV, I catch a random sleeping baby in my bed during a family party. <laughs> baby in here. Hey, that's my bed. Nah, we gonna have to fight over this. Me, leaving my house at 8.15, hoping that I make it to work by 8. 
<laughs> heads up, if you're gonna invite me to come out or do anything, or even if I invite you and I say eight o'clock, I'm gonna be there at 8.15 or 8.30. Please account for my tardiness because I won't.